About one out of four Europeans suffer from toenail fungus, also known as onychomycosis. The toenail fungus develops when your feet sweat, or stay wet or moist. Also, frequent exposure to hot and humid environments such as swimming pools, locker rooms, or even living in a humid climate puts you at greater risk of developing these types of infections. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only, and is in no way a substitute for professional medical advice. 7. Hydrogen Peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide can kill fungus growing on toenails. You can directly apply it on your infected toenails or fingernails with a clean cloth or cotton swab. Hydrogen peroxide can also be used in a foot bath. How to use. Mix 1 8 cup of hydrogen peroxide with 4 cups of cool water and soak feet for 10 to 20 minutes. Rinse feet with lukewarm water and pat dry. 6. Black tea. Soaking the feet in plain tea can also be beneficial in treating toenail or toenail fungus. Black tea contains tannic acid which dries out the feet, kills bacteria and helps close the pores in the foot to reduce sweating. How to use. Boil 2 liters of water then add 5 to 6 tea bags. Let the tea cool and soak the feet for 30 minutes. Use this foot bath daily if desired. 5. Apple Cider Vinegar. Another home remedy to treat toenail fungus includes using apple cider vinegar. Vinegar is antifungal and can be mixed with water to create a foot bath. Its acetic acid component helps whiten discolored nails and stop the spread of infection to other toes. How to use. Try two parts vinegar to one part warm water and soak your feet for 20 minutes a day. For a stronger foot soak, the ratio might be one part vinegar to one part water. If the smell is too overwhelming, essential oils can be added to make the experience more pleasant. White vinegar can be used as an alternative as both are equally effective. 4. Baking Soda. Add baking soda to a foot bath to heal the affected nail. You can also make a paste of baking soda with a minimal amount of water and apply it directly to the foot. Allow the paste to sit on the affected area for 10 to 20 minutes, then rinse off with lukewarm water and dry the foot thoroughly. Baking soda can also be sprinkled on the foot or in shoes like foot powder. Once applied to a dry foot, put on clean socks, baking soda can wick away moisture while the healing properties help reduce toenail fungus. 3. Ozonated Oils Ozonated Oils such as olive and sunflower oil, contain ozone gas. The idea is that ozone delivers oxygen to affected areas, which kills bacteria and stimulates skin cells for faster healing. A study has found that ozonated oil is an effective home remedy for toenail fungus. The researchers tested ozonized sunflower oil on 101 yeast samples. The oil was an effective treatment against several fungal strains. How to use. To try this remedy, first clean and dry your foot. Gently massage a small amount of ozonated oil into the skin, working it into the affected nails and around the entire toe. 2. Garlic. Garlic is a powerful antimicrobial herb. How to use. For topical treatment, chop the garlic cloves and leave them on the affected nails for 30 minutes. Use raw garlic sparingly, as it can lead to a chemical burn. Speak to a healthcare professional before taking oral garlic supplements. 1. Bleach Bleach works on foot fungus, but it is also not a safe product. Although, bleach has disinfectant, fungicidal and bleaching properties, and you might want to use it to treat nail fungus. Keep in mind, however, that bleach is corrosive. How to use. Perform this foot bath every week. Trim your toenails so the bleach solution can properly penetrate underneath. Wash your feet with soapy water, then rinse thoroughly. In a basin, pour 30 milliliters of bleach and dilute it with 3 liters of lukewarm water. Sit down and put your feet in the basin. Stay like this for 10 minutes. 
Repeat this foot bath every week for 4 weeks to treat skin fungus, and for 5 months to treat toenail fungus. Important, immediately stop foot baths at the slightest sign of burning or irritation of the skin like tingling and redness, etc. Also, if you notice burns on your skin, irritation of the respiratory tract or eyes, consult your doctor as soon as possible, in case of splashes of pure bleach on the skin, rinse thoroughly with water, in the event of splashes in the eyes, rinse abundantly with saline solution or water, and consult your doctor immediately. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like the content.